So here is the full Slack tutorial for beginners. Slack is a cloud-based messaging app that helps teams collaborate and work together. It's designed to help people communicate, share files, and plan projects. So first, let's go to slack.com and click on the pricing section on the top to check out their plans. And once you're in this page, you'll be able to see all the different plans that they have to offer. So go through them and choose whichever one that you want. You can also use Slack for free. You can sign into Slack on the top right corner and if you don't have an account yet, click on Get Started. Then, once you're on the next page, as you can see, first you need to enter your email. So, just go ahead and put in your email on this field, then click on Continue. Or, you can continue with Google or with Apple ID. I will select Continue with Google for now. Then select your account and click on continue. After that, on the next page, you can select this option if you want to receive marketing communications about Salesforce, including Slack. Then just click on create a workspace. After that, wait for a while till it gets loaded up. And as you can see, we now have the option to name our team or company. So on this section, type in the name for your workspace. And once you're done, just click on next. And then you need to put in your name. So type in your name, then select your profile picture if you want. Then click on next. After that, on this section, you can add people to your team. So type in their email addresses here, or you can also copy invite link from the bottom. But for now, I will skip this step. Then on the next part, you need to type in what your team is currently working on. So type in your project name or whatever that you're working with. For the tutorial, I will type in YouTube content, but you can type in whatever that's relevant to you. Then click on next. And as you can see, our workspace is now ready. And on the bottom here, you can see the option to start with pro, or you can start with the limited free version. And honestly, for beginners, that's all you need. After that, your main Slack dashboard will open up. And as you can see, we're already here. So you will get to see some pop-ups like this, which will give you some guidelines on how to use Slack. Now, if you look over to the left panel, you will get to see different channels of your workspace. And over here, you have the option to add channels. Let's go ahead and click on this. After that, you can select create a new channel or browse channels. After selecting create a new channel, you will get to see all of these options that you can choose from. And if you select Project Starter Kit, as you can see, there are some pre-made options that you can choose from. So this way you can go through all of these options and see if you want to use any of them. You can also click on Show All Templates to see all the available templates for Slack. And as you can see, you have a vast selection of templates to choose from. To check it out, let's go ahead and click on Project Starter Kit on the top and click on Next. On this part, you'll be able to see the available template features. So go through them to see if it fits your needs. Now, let's go back. Here, let's go ahead and click on Blank Channel and then select Next. After that, you need to type in a name for your new channel. For example, Plan Budget. But for this channel, we will name it as Welcome. And right below it, you have the visibility options. Here, you can set it as Public or Private. Then click on Create. And on the next section, you'll be able to add people to your channel. But I will skip this for now. And as you can see here, our new channel has been created. You can also add people to this channel from this section right here. Then you can add a description for your channel. Then on the top section, you will get to see this plus icon over here, right beside Messages. If you click on it, you will get to see multiple options starting with Canvas. If you click on it, you can create a new canvas on this section. And this is where you can add something like a vision board. So let's type in a title such as goals. You can type in whatever you want. After that, right below it, you can type in the goals or whatever it is, such as instructions or tasks on the canvas board. As an example, I will go ahead and type in goals for organization. Then. You can type in and list the goals over here. Also, if you type in slash over here, 
you will get to see different options like these. So scroll through the options and select whichever one that you want. This way, you will be able to customize this board even further and make it fit your needs. So scroll through the options in this section and check out if there are any options that you want to use. You will get to see options like canvas, checklist, big heading, medium heading, small heading, and a lot more options. So for now, let's scroll up to the top. After that, I will select checklist for now. Here, you can click on this box to add a check mark. So let's type in YouTube video over here. And since it's checked, you will see a line crossing it out. But if you uncheck it, the line will be removed again. This way, you can add multiple sections for your checklist. Now, let's go ahead and type in slash again and then choose image from here. Here, you can choose an image from your desktop or PC and then it will be uploaded onto this canvas. So once you add an image, just wait for it to get uploaded. It might take a few moments. And once it's done uploading, you will notice that the circle in the middle is gone. And on the image, if you hover over on the top, you will get to see these three dots right here. So let's go ahead and click on the three dots on the image. After that, you will get to see the options to add a comment or add a reaction and some more options including remove. Let's move on to the left panel and click on invite people. So here you can type in the email addresses of people or you can continue with Google Workspace. Then you can select invite them as and then select member or anything that you want. Also, you have the option to customize your invitation. Then you can copy the link from the bottom or once you put in the information, you can just click on send. This way, you can go ahead and invite anyone to your Slack channel. Now, let's cancel it and click on Messages on the top. And this is the main section where you can type in a message and you can use all of these tools on the bottom to customize your message. You can also click on the Attachment option to add pictures or videos or other media to your messages. Then, if you click on the More option on the left panel, you will get to see all of these options to choose from. You can also use the search bar on the top to search for people or different options like Google Drive for Slack. After that, you will get to see all the information and steps on the right panel. And you can follow these steps in order to install the Google Drive app to Slack, which will then help you to optimize your workflow with your team. And if you scroll down further, you will get to see additional information and instructions on how to use it. And this way, you can integrate many other third-party tools to Slack in order to optimize your workflow. Keep in mind that Slack offers integration with a lot of third-party applications and tools, which makes Slack one of the best messaging tools for Teams.